Welcome back YouTube to Rick's YouTube channel. Today's video I'm going to show you how you can use your Xbox controller to control the aircraft on Microsoft Flight Simulator 220. For anyone that don't know, Microsoft released their latest flight sim yesterday, August the 18th, and I found out that you can actually use your Xbox controller to control the aircraft. So if you've not got, if, you, if you're new to this, which I am, I'm a total beginner with this new uh, flight sim, and you haven't got one of the controllers or one of the yoke controllers you can use your xbox controller to control the aircraft so here i am i'm going to be using the boeing 747 we are at duxford aerodrome here in the united kingdom for those that don't know duxford it's a massive aviation museum really really good uh, i suggest if you're over here on your holidays at some point go and check in duxford out so we've just taxied over to the runway I'm going to press ready to fly now. And it's gone straight for the external view. With regards to Duxford, the control tower looks a bit new to me. There are the odd buildings that are not reminiscent of actually Duxford, but the airfield is spot on. I'm going to use my controller just to control the drone. You can see the M11 motorway there with the vehicles. You've got the super hangar over the back. I'm not too sure that big building in front of me. I think that's like, uh, there is a hangar there, but it's not that big. And uh, yeah, they've got it spot on, Duxford, and it's not even detailed like some of the, uh, the major airports. But anyway, if you want to use your Xbox controller, all you've got to do is connect it to your PC using a micro USB cable. Then Windows will recognize that. And then once you load up Microsoft Flight Sim, plug it in, switch the Xbox controller on, and I'm going to show you how to take off. So if you press Y and B, that's going to release the brakes. So that is the brakes released. Now, Duxford has a relatively short runway. So I'm going to have to go into the cockpit. I'm going to have to use the mouse for this. So I'm going to scroll out. I'm going to go to free look. Here's the uh, Boeing 747 cockpit. I'm going to right click my mouse. I'm going to put this into reverse. Right, so can't find reverse. We're just going to maximum boost the engines. We we'll go to the external view. Right, I haven't taken the brakes off. So if I use the triggers, you'll see the rudder move to the right. Use the left hand trigger. You can see the Xbox controller is actually controlling that. To release the parking brake or the air, no, it's not the air brake, it's the parking brake. You want to press Y and B both at the same time. That's the brake gone. Now, I'm going to use the rudder just to keep it lined up on the runway. Hopefully, we can take off. Duxford has a relatively short runway. I know when they have their air shows on a lot of the uh, planes, the bigger planes, the jets use Cambridge Airport, which is just over the road. We want to get to about 140, 150 knots. We're approaching the end of the runway. We're going to press the move the uh, left thumbstick down, and we've just just made it. So we've actually taken off at Duxford in a Boeing 747. Now, if you press your left thumbstick in, that's going to lower the gear in. You can see it's moving there, and then on top of the side shifter. You're going to press that to take the flaps up you can see the flaps are moving bottom right hand of the screen you can see as soon as i press that to steer the plane you use your left thumb stick and then the right thumb stick is to get a detailed view of the actual plane now you do get feedback actually through the vibration of your controller so if you're over stressing the aircraft you're going to feel that in your controller so that's how you use the Xbox controller on Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. If you're new around here, remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and I shall get back to you with another video. Thanks for watching.